The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 652. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have an amazing lady on the show today. She is a podcaster, a travel blogger, and also a spiritual coach, and I'm really excited to have her on and share her story with us today on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Laura Chung. Laura, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more by yourself to the listeners. Hi, I'm well. Thank you so much for having me. I love talking about self-confidence because I feel like that is the fuel you need to, you know, make your dreams come true, live the life that you want. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Laura, what's your cultural background? I am of Korean descent, but I was born here in New York, in America. Thanks for sharing that. And what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? It's actually by Yogi Bhajan. So I got certified in Kundalini Yoga this past October in India. And so I really got into his quote. And his quote is, you are very powerful, provided you know how powerful you are. And that goes back to the self-confidence thing, just knowing the power within you. Thanks for sharing that. I really like that quote as well, because a lot of us don't realize how much power we have, especially as women. And it's just because we don't have that belief in ourselves, we don't see that power, right? But when we can start believing in ourselves and taking action, we can see that power within us. And like, we can do so much when we realize our true, true powers, right? So thanks for sharing that great quote. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? I really believe self-confidence is knowing your authentic self and know who you are. And a lot of people, they don't really understand what that means. It's just being yourself without fear of rejection, fear of not fitting in, just being who you really were meant to be and loving that person and living life on your own terms, not by what society tells you to do, your parents, your friends, no expectation, just really like what you want to do with your life. Thanks for sharing that. I think, you know, authenticity is something that's totally missing in the world. I mean, the more authenticity we show to the world, the more people can relate and realize that it's, it is okay being our true selves because, you know, there's no other person than us, right? Or than you. So great definition that you mentioned. And what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? So I think as Asian women, especially our Asian cultures, we really have this basis of like, listen to your parents, listen to your elders, and this conformist mentality. And so before I really felt my self confidence, I think I was doing everything based on those expectations, what my parents wanted me to do, what I thought society and what my culture wanted me to do. And so all of my decisions were kind of based on that. Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's something we all go through as, you know, Asian children, right? We we have this one path that our parents and relatives and generations tell us to follow because they think, you know, that's what's working, right? They they think that's the only way life works, but it don't they don't realize like, you know, seasons change, time change, environment changes, you know, what may work, you know, 50 years ago might not work now. And you know, there's so many ways to live our life, right? But sometimes we're also scared because we only know one way of living. And, you know, it was that point in your life when you realized you can do and be more and, you know, have that confidence to go out there to do what you do today. What was that aha moment? I think once I achieved all those things of security and stability that I think our parents as immigrants want us to have, you know, I got my master's in psychology. I worked in finance. I was making six figures, had the beautiful apartment, had all the beautiful things, but there just was something missing still within myself. And I realized at that moment that, wow, this is not it. (laughs) Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, I can totally, you know, relate with you because I used to work in an office job, had everything. And I just knew there was something more to life than just doing this, right? Sometimes you just sit there and you're like, what am I doing with my life, right? And and some of us are afraid to make that big leap, like quit your job and do something different, especially when you have family telling you, what are you doing? You know, you had everything and you're throwing it all away. Like, are you insane? Are you crazy? Like, you know, they think something's wrong with you, right? But, you know, when you can live your true purpose, like, 
they'll see it later on that what you're doing is something that, you know, aligns with you and your values. And people will notice that the more you keep fighting for it, right? The more you keep chasing it or going after it, right? And because of your realizations, what's your life been like now? Well, I live with incredible freedom. And I also think that as women in general, we're taught from society that we need to have a man to make us complete and have a family. And those things are all great, but not everybody, you know, needs to have them exactly at the same time. So I think just being confident in my decisions in life and just taking life as all the gifts that comes my way in the timing that it comes has been so freeing because I see that I think women get very scared when the man hasn't come into the picture, you know? Yeah, I totally agree, especially when you have Asian relatives who constantly bombard you with, when are you getting married? When are you going to find a man? I mean, I get that all the time. And it's like, you know, there's more to life than that. There's nothing wrong with being with someone who truly loves you for who you are. But when you get married for the wrong reasons, that's when it's not right, right? And, you know, we see so many um, women who suffer from that, right? They're not happy with their lives, or even worse, they end up getting abused physically and mentally. And, you know, that's not how we should live life. And, you know, I love how you mentioned being confident in your decisions, because as Asian women, we love to second guess our decisions, or we love, you know, having other people make decisions for us. It doesn't matter if the decision you make was good or bad. It's the fact that you made your own decision is a great accomplishment on its own. And I think we take that for granted. And, you know, whatever decisions we make, it will always lead us to something, right? There's something good that comes out of everything. So I really love that you mentioned that. And, you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey to self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? Well, I think you really need to get on the journey of finding yourself, your true authentic self, and what makes you feel joy and happiness. And Because we all have our own unique journey to find that out. So you need to really do whatever it takes to know yourself. And once you know yourself, you have the confidence to make decisions and stand by them. And whatever's thrown your way, whether it's criticism or people telling you what to do, you have the the gusto to be like, no, this is me and this is what I want. Thanks for sharing those great tips. And Laura, if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, check out some of your work or check out your podcast. Is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yeah, so my personal page is Kumi Dreams. That's K-U-M-I dreams.com. And then my podcast is chasewildhearts.com. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Laura, you can also head on over to the com and search for Laura's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I really just want to thank Laura today for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Laura. Thank you so much. Not a problem. It was really great having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com to check out cool resources, blog articles, show recaps, and so much more. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.